Uh, I think the language you choose matters a lot, right? I would prefer to see you say something along the lines of, um, as I get more experience playing tournaments, I'm beginning to understand the structures. There's a duck in here? <laughs> Cut. I don't know what to do, man. We had a hot mic. I don't want to talk through it. <laughs> I mean, did that just happen? Or? <laughs> Set to Planet Hollywood, WSOPC main event, 1675. Berkey's taking second. And this before, uh, he has a soft white patch. I have a soft white shirt. Um, I was gonna wear a patch, but that would have been redundant. But I'm gonna try to top Berkey's uh, top finish here. Uh, you know, first place probably gonna be. You're just gonna turn on the air conditioner. It's hot, dude. So we're gonna play the. We're gonna play this event. We're coming in with Annie's. And uh, I expect to do pretty well. I feel like I've been putting in a little bit of, not a little bit actually, like a lot of MTT work leading up to the series. So obviously this would be really nice to uh, pick up a score before the series and get the ball rolling for the summer. And uh, I'm pretty excited. This, this is just a chin show? You, you're the only one on camera these days? Well, I mean, you know, you guys told me that I should be on camera more. So what do you want me to do? We need gas. I don't even have my seatbelt on. This is dangerous. We have no gas, no seatbelt, and a lot of cash. Times are tough, man. Times are tough. I'm gonna get you the siphon. I'm, I'm, I mean, you think these guys are gonna three bet me or what? <laughs> With that face? Chin, what are you doing here? There was two tickets and both were to the table. <laughs> yes. yes! Oh man. We did it. We got Christian at our table. So I found this guy on break. Um, you have what, double starting stack? One more? Yeah, 52K from 20K. All right, I have 220K. He's, <laughs> he's still learning, don't worry. So you had a big week. You uh, you made two final tables. Two NTs. Um, First two ever? Second and third. Second okay. And third. Okay, yeah, yeah. so he's new to this. Yeah. Uh, and he got his second place in his second final oh, table ever. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty oh, dirty. First, uh, first five digit score, so that was big. Okay, we bummed you didn't win it. Yeah, yeah, really bomb. I came in with a two to one chip lead, or no, six to one chip lead. Uh, probably didn't have to share that with the vlog, but <laughs> uh, we'll definitely learn a lot from it. So, yeah. nothing but positive to take away. I like it, that's good. Okay, uh, we did it, we bagged and tagged. We may have even bagged the chip lead, not sure. Uh, average stack is roughly 100K, I think, 90K, somewhere in that neighborhood. And we got them for 260,000. Um, I had 300,000 two levels ago, but I uh, lost a couple flips at the end of the night, you know, standard tournament play, no big deal. So the hand I want to talk about that kind of propelled me forward was a uh, big hero call that I made where I actually had the clock called on me, which is, if you've played with me, you understand it's quite rare. Um, it was a really interesting dynamic in the sense that um, we were all very deep and it was a very multi-way pot, which isn't all that common, uh, especially when you start getting into these levels. So I believe the blinds were 501k, and uh, I was about 150,000 uh, chips deep. Um, under the gun, open to 2,200 off of 80k. Under the gun, one flat off of about 100,000. Um, the button also calls. I'm in the small blind with ace of clubs, six of diamonds. I elect to complete 
Oh no, I'm sorry. I was in the big blind. The small blind also completed. I was in the big blind with ace six off, ace of clubs. Uh, and I choose to complete as well. So we go five ways and see a flop of ace, five, four, ace of diamonds, five, four of clubs. Uh, there's roughly 12,000 in the pot with the antes. Checks, uh, small blind checks, I check. The original razor checks. Under the gun, uh, one now elects to bet 6,500. Folds back to me and I call. Uh, I think this is all pretty standard so far. The only thing that's worth paying attention to here is that I do have the six of diamonds, so I block um, any like backdoor diamond uh, straight draw combos. Uh, and I also have the ace of clubs, so I block any top pair of flush draws. The turn was the deuce of diamonds, bringing backdoor diamonds. So now the board texture is uh, ace of diamonds, five of clubs, four of clubs, deuce of diamonds. And there is roughly 25,000 in the pot. I check, um, and my opponent elects to bet 16,500. And we are effectively um, 75,000 behind, give or take. Um, I, I cover. I, I continue through a call again, as this is like very strange. Uh, at this point, um, what I'm considering is how often can he be betting this sizing for value with a set? Um, taking into consideration what his 3x hands are, which would give him a straight, uh, I feel like flatting in early position, he really only could have ace-3 suited, and there are only two combinations of those left, ace-3 ace of hearts and ace-3 of spades. Uh, I block the ace of clubs and the ace of diamonds is out. So I think he only has two combinations of threes. Now I do think he could easily value bet a set here, um, but being that I completed out of the big blind, I also should be able to have a lot of available three X's to me, um, far more so than him. So he should be a little bit weird of that. I would think that like a smaller sizing for value would make a lot more sense. Um, so I continue through a call. River is uh, an offsuit nine. I check and he bets 26,000. Diamonds missed and clubs missed. Um, I go into the tank for a while because now this sizing does make sense for uh, hands as weak as a set. And I also am trying to decipher if he could be doing this with two pair type holdings. A hand like ace five suited, ace four suited. Um, I think five four suited is impossible to be betting like this. But uh, I do think that my hand is relatively capped at this point. Um, yes, I could be playing a three this way, but given that it's a, uh, a dual f flush draw board on the turn, um, unless I had blockers to the flushes as well, I, I would be a little bit more likely to be protecting my hand on the turn in some capacity. Um, however, maybe not, not at this depth. Uh, I think check calling turn and inducing um, busted draws on the river makes a little bit more sense than check raising uh, and setting up a potential reverse implied odd spot on the turn. So that being said, uh, I start to work it through and try to figure out what his bluff combinations could be. Um, the kid seems very competent. He seems like a balanced profile. So I assume that he's going to be having all combinations of 6-7, which there are three of those, all combinations of 6-8, which again, there are three of those, and then all combinations of 7-8, which there are four available. Um, so that gives a total of 10 potential bluffs on the river. Uh, as far as sets go, he only has pocket fives, pocket fours, so that's only six combinations, and uh, I think he has two combinations of 3x. So ultimately, I arrive at a call, he shows jack nine clubs, which allows me to understand that he's way over bluffing in this spot. And uh, there, was, there was no looking back from that point forward. Uh, that propelled me up over 200,000 and I ended up bagging 260. See the chin in his natural habitat. Yeah, good luck, day two, asshole. Hey, big guy. Hey. You playing the high roller? I don't know, I have a problem. Because you a baller. Is this a thing right now? This is a thing right now. You got to play today, son. Okay. Easter Sunday. Spanish people don't play on Easter Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, busted the main event in 41st. Pretty disappointed. Lost uh, two flips in a row.
towards the end, um, took me from 40 blinds down to 10, and then I got in 12 big blinds with pocket eights versus queens. Nothing you can do. Jumping into the 2K high roller now. Uh, looks like it's gonna be about 50K to first, and we need it, so let's go. You have equity with ace five. It doesn't matter if my hand holds ace five. Why? That's not true. It's an ace. It's like black aces. It's not as good as probably king, queen, or queen of hearts. Lay up that. I'm saying that certain hands are categories that are paused, and ace seven is better than ace jack, better than ace five, better than ace four. Yeah, but you can get better than ace five. Why can't you bet king, jack, jack, and hearts? Because it's better than hearts. I think we're pushing. Yeah, but that's because you have the king, queen, jack, 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 a7 performs better than Ace Jack. Edge played. I know. Yes, against the confused. Uh, against a reasonable fucking range. No, against the confused. I don't agree. That's not necessarily true. Yes, it has to be true. Play for me, I don't care if you win a tournament or not. Okay, so the whole point that I'm trying to make is that the entire quote unquote lifestyle segment that we've been putting into the vlog for now a year has largely unincluded you. And that's your fault. Yeah, I mean, there's like, there's some clout of mystery there. No, stop that. Stop it. You're not Phil Ivy. Alright, so you want me to create a fucking chin hands? No. Chin hands and chin life. Yes. Yes. And a podcast. If you want. What else you want? Everything. <laughs> Anything <laughs> else you're good at. They wanted me to do more lifestyle stuff, so I'm showing you my lifestyle. It's 12 a.m. right now at the, at the Soft Y Academy headquarters. We call it a headquarters, but you know, it's only two floors. Anyway, I got mad things to talk about. You know why? Because y'all were calling me boring, talking about NPR or, and, or whatever radio show. You guys don't know, I could get lit real quick. The hand with uh, Berkey last week, whatever. I don't know. It was shaky, but I thought it was alright. I mean, he has two pair versus some businessman. Like, how bad can it be? People were saying that I wasn't being critical enough. I was being boring. I wasn't really taking a side. Let me tell you something. I ride with my boy Matt Berkey. He has two pair versus some businessman, and he wants to shove the turn. He fucking shoved like $80,000. You got $80,000 to your name? Because I don't. I'm living the life of some medium stakes poker player here. Bergie's living the life of somebody that can shove the turn for eight thousand dollars. You live, you live, and you die. That day, Bergie died. Anyway, let me talk. Let me talk to you about some of the artwork that we got up in here. And if you guys want to submit some of your artwork for evaluation or, you know, design critique or payment, uh, contact us at softwareacademy at gmail. I do all final takes. And. If I like it, I'll contact you. If I don't like it, then, you know, too bad. Kick rocks. This is one of my favorite pieces. It's the logo of the Thinking Man with some hands. Look at that. Boom. One of my favorite hands, the 8-7 offsuit. What do you guys know about that? That's me. Before I got LASIK surgery. Damn. That last one is, like, pretty, pretty pushing it. You even think that looks like me? I don't even think that looks like me. What do you guys think? I don't know about that. Yeah, these guys are talking about the gym tomorrow. It's fucking 12 a.m. and we're still working. He wants to get up at 6 a.m. to go to the gym. At 6 or 7 a.m. to go to the gym. 
We can go the <clears throat> I mean, like... We can go five. Like, what is going on? Bro, we, like, can go five, we can go 5 p.m. Like, what, like, who are these humans? You know how much it costs to go to this gym? Let me just tell you guys. That's how rich Berkey is. It's $30 a day. A day. Not a, but wait, wait, let me, let me fill you in more. That's not the only gym we go to. There's another gym we go to. It's called 24 Hour Fitness. So you got two memberships. One is $30 a day. And then you know what else you gotta pay for? All the eggs that we eat and all that stuff. You know how many eggs we eat a day? You know, you, you ride with Matt Berkey, you know how many eggs you eat a day? At least eight. Now it's 12.30 in the morning and he's talking about, let's go to the gym. Something about functional movements. What do you think about this uh, heads up challenge? Matt Berkey. I think we're gonna be just fine, buddy. Alright guys, I'm gonna tell you some inside secrets of Berkey. When he says buddy, that he's fucking mad, alright? <laughs> when he says buddy, he ain't your buddy. So if you ever walk around and you give Ber Berkey a buddy, he's like, hey, what's up, buddy? Then he ain't your friend. Um, just letting you guys know that little inside secret. Alright, we out of here.